hope these are the only ankle monitors you guys ever have to wear. What a fun way to spend our morning cheering on the boys at their duathlon. The pool they were supposed to swim in had a mechanical issue, so it became a duathlon instead of a triathlon. The boys did so amazing. Bennett got first place overall. He rocked it. He said he never wants to do another one again because it was so hard, but he pushed himself 
really hard and did amazing. It's finally a nice enough day. It's not raining, the wind's not blowing, so we have to get in the bees. That is next on our list. Let's go. So our beehives really should have been done three or four days ago. But every day when we went to go do them, it was either raining or really windy, which are both really bad conditions for checking on the bees. <laughs> so we've had to put it off. So hopefully everything is okay. We are looking to see if the queen is still laying eggs. We want to see a lot of brood. Uh, we need to see if they need more boxes have they run out of room have they filled everything up that they have if so then we need to add more boxes we are really summer has very slow to come this is the first time i have seen the sunshine since we've been home pretty much from our cruise so we're feeling like we probably don't have to add the uh, any more sugar water because there are some flowers starting to come up but summer is just really slow to getting started this is the first day that it's actually even felt warm and it's probably only 55, 56 degrees. Hello. I was blowing along. All right, let's get this on. Yeah, I loosened this corner. I don't know about the back corner. Look at that. Holy cool cow. Right there, there. A little space underneath, I think. Yeah. See, activity is on this side, so you may want to just pull one out from that side first. Okay. Be careful not, not to smash any bees. So there's nothing going on, there's really. Nothing there. That's good. Just. They set this one on the side. Yeah, just set it right here though. If any bees will just crawl right into the hive. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, you can just kind of slide that one over there. Have a look at it. Nothing there yet either. Yeah. So they're definitely not running out of space yet. Although they do like to move vertically. So, let me slide that over. Man, that sun feels so nice. So now you want to start looking to see are there eggs in there or any honey or something. Wait, what's, so what is that there in the corner? That is sugar water. Okay. Right, or that's honey. They're like, trying to make honey there. Yeah, they're making honey. They're just starting on that one though. Yep. You know, uh, we could check following. them again before we leave. That's good. You, so you can also kind of have an idea how it's going on by the weight. So like they'll get heavier. So, so right here, this is honey, capped honey, mm -hmm. and they're making honey there. Lots I can of... see pollen. They're putting lots of pollen over there. On the other side, is there much? It's a little bit of honey. Yep. Okay. There's still plenty of room. Definitely this next one they're working on. There's a yeah. lot more bees. Mm -hmm. So like although we have the hive in a rectangular square shape, the bees envision their it as like a circular imagine like a basketball or something and it grows out that way uh -huh. so that's brood right there capped brood the darker stuff well the, just yeah. this and then i can see some brood down in there i can't really oh see. yeah i see i can just like there's i need to go the other way with the yeah. light like you need to be on this side so we yep. have yeah. the light yeah that other side's got a lot of brood and that's all female brood it's not male brood. Oh, male what's brood. that huge one there? Where? Right there? Yeah. So that's a drone bee. That's okay. a male bee. I see larva, but I don't see any fresh eggs. Oh, I see some fresh eggs. That's good. So, I mean, that's a sign that the queen has been alive within the last day or so. If you have fresh eggs that are really, really tiny, they're just like a, oh wow. See, this is all brood. So that's awesome. I mean, they got, they got a ton of work. Of, oh, there's the queen right there too. Okay, we see the queen. She's got the red. She looks so different than everything else, doesn't she? Yep. Doesn't even look like a bee. Yeah. That's good. I'm going to just put this one right back in. Yep, Slide. keep her safe. Put her down in there. Okay. Yay, one queen. That's good. <clears throat> and lots of brood. Okay, so here we have two different kinds of brood going on. Oh, wow. What are those so ones? So that in? is brood that's uh, worker bee. Is it? 
honey. No, that's brood. And then this is grown bee brood. So they're bigger, they're fatter. Yeah, they like puff out. Yep. So a lot of times I'll scrape it because you don't really want many drones. They just, all they do is sit around and eat honey and. It's interesting how much bigger the comb is there yeah. to accommodate yeah. those drone bees. Yeah. So sometimes people will just scrape all that out and make them make new, but they do kind of need to make some. So I'm also looking for queen cells, but they seem to be doing really good. They're really calm too. Ours taking. They're happy about the sunshine. So what would you do if you saw that they were making a new queen cell? And what does a queen cell look like? Uh, it kind of looks like a peanut. And instead of being in a comb like this, it's hanging vertically. Okay. It, it'll hang off the bottom or they, it'll grow out the side. And that would mean they were trying to create a new queen. They're trying to create a new queen. But this hive is so small, it only would do that if she died at this okay. point. They don't have enough to start trying to swarm and split. A little bit of they they're totally fine as far as space for another couple weeks so. i think the bees are doing just fine here we'll close this up they should be good for another week i hope you didn't mind if i took over too much nope Ooh, this one is really stuck together <sighs> So these bees are a bit agitated right now. We were trying to lift off that uh, box with the sugar syrup and they had attached, they had attached a number, they had just glued with their wax and their propolis, several of those frames right up to that other box. And so when we lifted it up, it started ripping apart the whole hive. And they, oh, they did not like that. So um, we're just gonna let them kind of settle down. This hive almost seems like it might have more bees just on how many we have flying around. And so having two hives, you can look at them back to back and, and assess how well you're doing as opposed to having one. Honey, the other has nothing. Okay. Oh, honey. Food. oh wow. In the light you can see all that pollen, just all different colors right in there. Yeah. Really cool. You see the honey glistening. Something smushed that. I haven't seen any brood on this side. Really. There's a whole bunch in these next on the other side. I don't know what I pulled out yet, but I can see the next one. Uh, see any brood there? Yeah. This one's very light. Look at the other side. Oh, it's had a little bit of brood. Oh, there's the queen. Oh yeah, there she is. There's the queen. That's good. And there was some brood that had been emerging there. Okay, two queens up brood. Oh yeah, that one does that feel heavier? It looks yeah. heavy. You got a lot of brood all over this. Oh yeah, side. that one's got a lot. Mm -hmm. Finally got to the nursery. Yep. So usually in the center of the hive is where you're gonna have most of the brood because yeah. that's where it's warmest. Yeah. And I think it needs to be like 90 something degrees for those. Hmm. Okay, you wanna hold this? I'll look at the last one. Sure. That one looks full. Yeah, quite a bit of brood. And this one, 
But it doesn't look, you know, it, again, we don't need, it doesn't look like we need to add anything no, yet. I think we're okay, space. It's just been so cold. Yeah. Rainy. Well, hopefully Not we'll a lot of, get around the corner soon. Today is the hottest I felt. Definitely. All right, two hives. Gonna leave the sugar water on for a little longer. And we put these ratchet straps on to keep bears from pushing over our hives. Hopefully. No problems yet this year with a bear. packages arrived while we were out of town so I figure we need to go through some really quick here first is a box from Janice in Arkansas let's see what's here let's see if I can get through uh, four packages without losing my scissors okay that's the goal Janice said she sent us some honey from a local farm so we can try some of their local honey, which is so amazing. Thank you. Oh, it's very different in color than our honey here. Cannot wait to try that. Rivercrest Orchard, Fayetteville, Arkansas. The place to pick and play. Oh, it's all sealed up, so I'm going to leave it, but it's a beautiful dark color. Thank you so much, Janice. Ooh, this one is our monthly box from TryTreats.com. They always give us a code for 15% off your first box purchased, this Alaska Life. Let's see what country we got this time. So exciting. South Korea. Awesome. So, this is so fun. Here's our South Korea box. We got choco pies. We've got butter coconut sweet biscuits. Yum. I don't know what these are. They are in Korean. Same with this. We will look at the list though. Custard cream cakes. Again, don't know what it is. <laughs> these look like strawberry Cheetos. Noodle snack. Choco Boy. Those look like something we've had before in America and some seaweed. What a fun, interesting box of things we have almost never tried anything from here. Thankfully, they give you a list and you get to rate them on the back. Best, worst, and weirdest. I love that they put weirdest because sometimes these foods just taste very foreign to our palate. Awesome. Trytreats.com, the boys are gonna love this stuff. This one is the one that is most interesting to me. Butter coconut sweet biscuits. Oh, just like a little. Tastes like a graham cracker. Almost identical to like a graham cracker or like an animal cracker. This one's the one I'm most interested because in I didn't have it listed. Ooh, it's a chocolate chip cookie. The next thing that came in the mail was another gift for Luna's birthday. Smarty Pear saw our video and sent her some little laser toys. Three little laser toys. Uh, super cute, rechargeable. Two of them have already disappeared around the house with the boys. The little pear and the little cute cat. 
so fun. This is one of their new products. So thank you, Smarty Pear, for sending this little treat for Luna. We've had a lot of fun with them. I'll tell you what's happened with the litter box here in just a second. Last but not least, I think this box came from around the world. I'm not quite sure because it's been repackaged. I think I know who it's from, but let's just go inside of it to make sure. You guys, I didn't lose the scissors. It's a miracle. Here is the letter. So this box is from another YouTube channel. They're called the Bags Packed Family. They are teachers that used to live in Alaska and have then moved to India to be teachers. And they are now working in Indonesia. They're coming back to Alaska for the summer before they head back for one more year of teaching in Indonesia. And they sent us some treats from Indonesia. So we are gonna have lots of fun treats. We got some potato chips some spicy curry chicken samosa snacks. We'll see if we can meet up with them while they're home in Alaska for the summer. But for now, we're just gonna enjoy some awesome treats from them. Silver Queen Chunky Dark Chocolate Orange Peel Cashew Bar, yum, that's fun. Ginger Bon Candy. Tamarind Candy. Mark's parents, after the tsunami in Indonesia, uh, went over and helped build houses, uh, humanitarian missionaries. Um, so they might enjoy some of this stuff from here. Uh, take it, four fingers, that looks like a Kit Kat bar. Got another one of those. Some Jasuk, I don't know how to say that, a wafer. Wafers are always a favorite around here. Oh, and we got some things wrapped in bottle. Let's see. No idea what this is. I'm gonna have to look up what this is. But there's a little bottle with a rhino on it. Don't know what that is. Maybe I'll smell it. Doesn't smell like anything, so maybe it's just some water. <laughs> Still have my scissors. All right. We'll have to do a little taste testing later. Uh, lay this all out for the boys so they can try all this yum, yummy stuff. Thank you. These little chocolate coconut cookie things are amazing. They're not super sweet. So good. I haven't brought you guys shopping at Revive Home Market in a little while. Let's go see what they have to get us ready for summer. This is a local shop, local vendors. I just love coming here to get inspired and look for gifts. So Revive Home Market is a mixture of antiques and handmade goods. It is a wonderful shop. It is only open the first and last weekend of every month and they change it up every time. So it's like a new experience when you go in there. And I love that they have it decorated for summer. Lots of red, white, and blue. Lots of salmon themed things everywhere. This mushroom section is also extremely cute. Then we have some antique books. I love decorating with antique books. And whales, lots of whales. I'm in a whale kick right now, you guys, after seeing so many whales on our Alaska cruise. These are Homer whales. They're made out of like recycled shirts. And these are Happy AK headbands, of course, another whale. Uh, she has a lot that are Alaska themed and then she has a lot that are just regular, you know, like flowers and patterns. She does ship, so check out happyak.com and you can order one of these awesome headbands. I wonder if I need one of these bee headbands for when we're doing our beekeeping. 
Then we have the Lada soaps. These are my favorite locally made soaps. The lady that makes them is so sweet. I went and met her and she showed me her whole process and they all smell amazing and look amazing. Be the light. Oh, I love that sweatshirt. That is also from Happy AK. And then we just have lots of Alaska themed things. This is a Christian owned store, so you'll see lots of scriptural references and blueberries and mountains. They really showcase Alaska so well throughout the store. So I think this is a great place to buy goodies if you come into town. It is in Eagle River, and like I said, it's only open the first and last weekend of the month. So you've got to check out their Instagram. And these are my favorite earrings. They're called Akimbo. She does have a website. You will see me wearing her earrings all the time. They are my favorite. And this, this whole section is just so fun and sunny and makes me think of the bees. So just got to look at a few of these cute little things. Well, that got me in the mood for summer. Everything's so bright and cheery in here. It, like I said, it changes every time they're open and it's just fun to come and explore. This is fireweed. This is my favorite Alaska flower. It comes later in the summer, but it just makes me think summer in Alaska. Thanks for shopping with me today, guys. It was so much fun to look around. She likes it not. Yeah, that's the most. It's like awesome. Mouse. I think the, the bee cheese one makes her like, uh, it like kind of scares her. Cause it's actually something. It's rather than just like a little dot. <laughs> makes her frisky. Get it, girl. What a frisky <laughs> kitty. <laughs> no, it's like me. I when you was little. Like a you tossed the ball. ball. Nope, she liked a headband. Oh. Smiley face. <laughs> must, she's, I'm holding she's it. She's trying to get it. It's not a smiley face. It's Biggie Cheese. Oh, the mouse is Biggie Cheese. Mama, go up totally there. Looking at it. Oh, there's the mouse. It's Biggie Cheese. Look at that. Biggie Cheese. Biggie Cheese. Do the dog. I want her to jump that way. Do the dog. Yeah, I want her to jump over. Go by the trash. Move over to the right, baby. Shh. <laughs> on the computer. No, on the left. Try on the left. Do the left. I want to watch it. To the left. Put it down low so she can get on the trash can. Go, <laughs> Do the dot. Do the dot. She likes the dot. Watch. She likes the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's our own TV show. This it is. We can make our own cat videos. We could. <laughs> Hey, I was the first one that found out she actually liked it. Put it on that. Can I help do it from over here? Kind of block it out. <laughs> okay, what verse are we reading? Okay, Luke 10, 41, and 42. It's right here, Weston, these last two, right here. All right, friends, we have a small Luna problem. She was sent the Leo's Lou 2 automatic litter box to use and try out so that we could give you an honest review of how it worked. The problem is Luna is a little bit set in her ways and only likes to use her litter box that is upstairs. So I came up with a solution. Instead of stressing Luna out because she is used to the litter box that she already has, we are gonna box up the Leo's Lou 2 and send it to Luna's cousin Rose. We wanted to make sure to give the Leo's Lou 2 a proper test run because automatic litter boxes are life changing. We have loved having automatic litter box and this one just wasn't getting used.
It is so easy to clean. You just connect to the app. You can keep track of everything. It works amazing, just like we hoped. And now my brother's family is getting to experience the wonders of having an automatic cat litter box. So we do recommend the Leo's Lou too. It is just as amazing as we thought it was going to be. Just Miss Luna just wasn't having it. So now Rose gets to enjoy it.